So we're going to take care of uh, this worksheet. The neutral atoms worksheet is stapled into your notebook, and we're going to accomplish uh, teaching you to find the symbol, the protons, the electrons, and the neutrons of each of these elements. First, I want you to start off by reading the reminders. I'm going to read them out loud to you, so you read them silently to yourself. The number of protons equals the number of electrons. The atomic number tells you how many protons are there in that element's atoms. The atomic mass minus the atomic number gives you the number of neutrons. Atomic mass minus the number of protons equals the number of neutrons. Atomic mass equals the sum of protons plus neutrons. If you remember those things while doing this worksheet, it will become simply easy for you. So what I want you to do first is open your textbooks to either page 61, where you'll find the periodic table, or to the back inside cover, where you will find the periodic table as well. Now, for each of these, you will need to look up first the atomic mass And then we're going to look up the atomic number. After we find those, then we can figure out ways to find how many protons, how many electrons, and how many neutrons there are. Now as we're doing this, I want us to remember a few things. Neutrons, this is going to be the atomic mass minus the atomic number. Okay? Um, and when we talk about the atomic mass, we want a whole number. So we will have to round if the decimal, we're going to round up if the decimal is a 5 to 9, and we're going to stay the same if it's a 0 to a 4. So let's look up the first one, which is helium. The symbol is HE. Okay, the atomic mass is 4.003. When we look at that first decimal, or first digit after the decimal, that's where we decide. Is it a 0 to 4, or is it a 5 to 9? In this case, it's a 0. So we're going to stay with the 4 as a whole number. Okay? Now, our atomic number. When we look in the periodic table, that top number in our periodic table in our books is the atomic number. So in this case, it is a 2. And on our reminders, when we go back and we look at our sheet, on the reminders, we see that the number of protons is given to us when we look at that atomic number. So here's the atomic number. That's going to tell us how many protons there are. So we know there are two protons. We also know when you look back on here, the very first thing it says under the reminders is the number of protons equals the number of electrons. So we know that this is going to equal also two. For neutrons, it's a little different. We're going to look at this and this. Atomic mass, which is 4, minus atomic number, which is 2, that gives us 2. So we have two neutrons. Let's do another one together. So let's do argon. And the symbol is AR. The atomic mass is 
0.948. And we're going to look at that first digit again. That's a 9, so that means we're going to round up to 40. Then we have to find our atomic number. Which in this case, it lists it as 18. Protons, electrons, and neutrons. So the number of protons we know is going to be equal to the atomic number. So this also equals 18. Electrons and protons equal each other in neutral atoms. So this is also 18. Neutrons, we find these by taking the atomic mass minus the atomic number. So, this is going to be 40 minus 18, which gives us 22. Okay? We'll do one more together. Okay, so we're going to do bromine. And bromine <clears throat> has a atomic mass of 79.904. And again, if you look at that first digit after the decimal, in this case it's a 9, it tells me we're going to round up. So now I'm going to be at 80. Okay? So the atomic number is also listed in your book as the top number, and that's 35. So that tells me we have 35 protons. These equal each other, so there's 35 of those. And neutrons, we take the mass minus the atomic number, which gives us the total number of neutrons. <laughs>